I cannot do anything about emotions. Hi again, Gosha, sociologist and psychotherapist, bringing you some things I've learned in my life as a Gosha and as a psychotherapist. And one thing is, like, like a huge part of what I've learned is, is emotions and what type of approach I had in the past and that actually slowed down my development hugely. But now when I know what to do, it can actually help it very quickly. So this is what I want to share with you. Uh, so <laughs> feelings and emotions, often we <sighs> stop paying attention to what we feel and especially about the negative feelings, negative um, emotions, because it's, it's first of all unpleasant <laughs> to, um, to experience again the sadness or disappointment or, um, or hurt, someone hurt us, that's, that's a big one, or disappointment, life disappointment, uh, some relationship didn't work out, uh, or some job didn't work out, or I had began to move somewhere. And, and then you, you, you can feel like, oh, that's a failure again. So why to linger on that? Why to just keep focusing on this feeling of, um, of loss, of uh, feeling of disappointment? Like, if I cannot change it, if, if I cannot do anything about it, why to bother feel it? <laughs> uh, and you see, that, that's, a, like a, that's a big secret about feelings and emotions. First of all, I noticed that when I stopped running away from feelings, my life started changing. So again, if I started facing my emotions and learning from them, I stopped repeating same mistakes in life. Example. Uh, so in the past, um, I thought that just thinking about another relationship that broke has no meaning because then I will be just feeling this hurt even more so I was cutting myself from it and going to um, another relationship but guess what some similar things were happening so um, ultimately I was ending up in a similar situation just with a different partner so I noticed that the feelings and emotions they were my teachers my teachers about myself my teachers about me in a relationship to others, in a relationship to certain situations and challenges. So if someone was pushing my buttons, then I, when I was feeling anger, when I was feeling jealousy, when uh, I was feeling uh, low self-esteem, I, I was doing, I was reacting in a similar toxic way. That's why also this relationship didn't last. So when I at some point just stopped and instead of running on to, towards another relationship, I started to look for these emotions that caused me reacting in a certain way and feeling the jealousy, the feeling the anger, this inadequacy, the, uh, the, the low self-esteem. Then I started to look on why I feel like that. So I noticed I feel like that because I have unhealed relationship with my past so either my parents or with some of the members of my family or some of the people that hurt me when I was very young and when I was able to look that correlation then I started to deal with this past hurts and again feelings and emotions I was feeling like nowadays within with the relationships they were my teachers to this show the first like the cause of me being hurt and feeling anger to protect myself to feeling jealousy because I couldn't stomp, stand the comparisons and, and feeling the low self-esteem because I didn't believe I was worthy so when I listened to emotions I understood they are just pointing out to my past so I can heal it so when I've done that I started create different relationships I first of all I create a different relationship with myself I saw like I'm awesome I actually have so many talents and I, I love seeing goodness in others 
and you know by all of that richness that started to appear in me I started simply relaxing so my natural potential started even growing and others were, were seeing it and I started to attract wonderful people in my life so um, conclusion sometimes emotions that we don't like and we try to run away from they are our teachers our teachers to show us something else than what we are suffering from at that moment they indicate some other connections to, to our relationship to, to different parts of the reality it's good to listen to them to treat them as friends not the enemies do you agree with that let me know <laughs>